Alright guys, now let's get to the second property of light which is the luminous flux. Luminous flux is the rate at which light is emitted from a source and it's measured in lumens. Uh, so uh, it shows us how how much a light is bright or dim. So it measures the brightness of light. However, illuminance is a luminous flux divided by area of a surface which is measured in lumen per meter square. So uh, illuminance is luminous flux but in a specific area or a specific area for example here if you can see we have a large square this is the luminous flux but every small square inside that large square is called as illuminous because it's measured in lumen per meter square so for a small specific area we can say this is the illuminance which, which again gives us how much a light is bright or dim uh, we have a note here it says less light falls on each unit square as the, as the distance from the source increases so here we can see a small square here we have but the intensity of light in this small square is very large very high but as the area increases the intensity of light decreases the intensity of light decreases as the area increases we have a question here, it says, what is the relation between the illuminance of light from the source and the illuminance of light away from the source? If you can look at the figure, we have illuminance in here in a small square and illuminance in the large square. It says, what's the difference between those two sources or those two illuminances in this figure? We can, can see it as the answer, it says, illuminance decreases as the radius squared when you move away from the light source so in here as we said intensity of light is high it means illuminance is high but here as we as we pass uh, a large distance from the source here we have three meters for example the illuminance of light decreases and we can say the intensity of light decreases now uh, we have some special cases as the question says here why astronauts while observing galaxies talk about past or long time ago talk about long time ago uh, the answer is because light that reached us from galaxies emitted from millions of years ago so uh, the light that reached us from stars takes millions of years because of the large distance between us and the stars except the sun of course uh, another question says can we say bright stars at night always have more light than the dim ones so if you look at the sky at night we can see some stars are brighter than others that does not mean that the bright star has more light as, the, as you can see the answer says no maybe star closer to us than the dim ones that's why they look bright so if the star is closer to us its light will be bright if it's far from us its light will be dim but that does not mean that stars has a dim light now we can get to section 5 when we have three questions here those three questions are important for you uh, first one says identify which portion of electromagnetic spectrum is used in any devices list microwave oven television set single lens reflex camera uh, you can see the answer from microwave oven it uses microwaves television set uses radio waves and camera uses visible light the second question says if we have an electromagnetic wave has a frequency 7.57 times 10 power 14 hertz what is the wavelength it says find lambda to what part of the spectrum does this wavelength belong we can see the answer here uh, if you have if you, you can use this rule to find lambda 
lambda is equal to c over f, c is the speed of light and f is the frequency. So we said speed of light is constant, 3 times 10 to the power 8, uh, divided by 7.57 times 10 to the power 14, you can get the result 3.96 times 10 to the power minus 7. The third question says Galileo performed an experiment to measure the speed of light by timing how long it took light to travel from the lamp he was holding to an assistant about 1.5 km away and back again. Why was Galileo unable to conclude the line that light has finite speed? The answer says because the speed of light is very high and could not be measured from short distances. Thank you for listening.